What's good YouTubers, this is Chris Mario Portale and welcome to my very first video tutorial on YouTube ever. In this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to use the symphonic choirs and the word builder within FL Studio. I know many pro people have had problems with this since I had the exact same problem to make it work within FL Studio. The only video tutorial I found once was in Spanish, it was crappy so I decided to make one in English. Now. English isn't my main language, so I apologize if I might hang up on the words or something like that. But uh, if you need any help, just ask. So, cut the crap, get to the case, because I know that that's what people want, so yeah. The first thing I want you to do is to download the VST which is required, which you can find in my description. I've added a link there, so just download it, extract it to your uh, VST folder, and you're good to go. Um, this application makes it work, makes it possible for FL Studio to open up Word Builder, which which is an F MFX plugin, and FL Studio supports VSTi, VST, DXI, and many others, but unfortunately not MFX at this point. So that's why you need the MFX shell. So the first thing I want you to do is to add the symphonic choirs. Go to channel, add one, and select symphonic choirs. And you have it here. Once you've done that, I want you to load the MFX shell. If you did this right, you'll have it in the list here. If not, go to more, select refresh, fast scan, and you'll find it about here. Double click on it, and you'll see this little box pops up with the World Builder MFX. Click on that one, bam, the, the World Builder loads. So, uh, the first thing I want you to do here is to select Altos. I really don't know why, I always do that, so it works for me, it'll definitely work for you. So, we got the Symphonic Choirs and the World Builder in FL Studio. Now we gotta make them work together as a team. So, what you wanna do here is to select the input port. Show me the input port, it's, it's by default, so you just have to drag it up to one, and then you select show me the output port set that one to number two close this open up symphonic choirs and like i said by default it's on input port so just put this one to two there we're good to go now all you got to do is to load a new multi full multis altos ah, this one's good all right, we gotta load it up. So, whoa, it's really slow. <laughs> so what you wanna do now is to just type in some simple text. I can do I can do like the uh, video for Symphonic Choirs did. They wrote Symphonic, Symphonic, and just play it down on your keyboard, and it'll say. All right, let me put this one to record. Whoops, since I'm <laughs> both recording the screen and running this application, it's really hard for the computer, so I apologize for some latency. But it said symphonic. Now, if you notice, it says sim when I press the key down and phonic when I take the keys up. So, if I want to add more pressure on it, I can simply write symphonic and big, take a big capital P to make it more phonic. Here we go. There it says, Symphonic. I hope you enjoyed my video tutorial and I'll see you around some other time. <laughs> Whoa, I really need to get a better computer. But we made it work, didn't we? Didn't we? Can't hear you. You gotta shout it out in the comment box. If you made this one work, fucking great. This was Chris Mario Portale, my first video tutorial. I'll try to prepare a little bit better next time, but... Basically, we got it to work, and that's what matters. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfuckers.